What exactly happened three years ago in the outskirts of Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh? In the morning of the 24th of April in 2013, Rana Plaza, an eight-story building with five garment factories, collapsed. More than 1,100 people died and over 2,000 people um, were injured. It was the deadliest tragedy in the history of the garment industry and it could easily have been prevented. How? The day before the collapse, there were cracks appearing in the walls of the building and Rana Plaza was evacuated. However, the next day, people were forced back into the building. Um, many workers were told that they would risk losing their wages or even their jobs if they refused to enter the building. At the time of the Rana Plaza collapse, about 3,000 people were inside the building. What was the actual reason that the building collapsed? Many of the floors were built in illegally and the building was not stable enough for the heavy machinery of the garment factories. And did the victims by now, three years later, at least receive any compensation? Yes, but only after a long struggle. It took organizations like us, the Clean Cloth Campaign, over two years of heavy campaigning to ensure the compensation payment to all the victims. Um, this was surely a milestone, but a lot remains to be done. What exactly remains to be done? What are the most urgent things that have to happen? In the wake of Rana Plaza, over 200 brands and retailers, they signed an agreement to ensure the safety of the people who make their clothes. However, three years later, only half of the identified safety hazards have been fixed and many um, Bangladeshi factories remain unsafe. This is why the Clean Clothes campaign uh, keeps on pressuring brands to ensure the safety of the factories. And we also keep on the pressure uh, on brands to ensure that um, they pay for a living wage so that no worker has to enter an unsafe building ever again.